Render me this. Have you ever been stuck in a situation where you have a lot of work to complete but don't have much time? Well, then you might have resorted to something called multitasking. So have I, many times. Yet I can't help but wonder whether it's even helpful in the first place. You might have all received a form from me recently asking you about this very question. Both teachers and students from middle school and high school received this form, the results of which were actually quite surprising. About 67% of students and 56% of teachers admitted to multitasking frequently, with about 25% of all respondents deeming multitasking harmful, I mean, at times. Despite this, about 48% of students and 65% of teachers deemed multitasking harmful. Now for the interesting part. My form asked respondents what made multitasking helpful or harmful for them personally. The results were pretty split, with half of people deeming multitasking efficient or distracting. Yet a number of students' responses stuck out to me. The first of which goes as following, quote, I find it depends on the task I'm doing. I view multitasking as a toddler that's just discovered they're tall enough to reach the light switch and is having the time of their life. The constant flicking of the light switch is either bound to damage the light bulb or eventually annoy someone." End quote. With another one being, quote, your brain has a limited bandwidth, which when multitasking delegates processing power to different parts of the brain, thus reducing your task proficiency as different parts of the brain do different things. Yet I wouldn't know, I'm not an expert, I just play video games, end quote. These are some pretty smart answers. Let's see what teachers had to say in contrast. Quote, I believe that when I multitask, I don't do either task as well and make mistakes more easily or get distracted more easily than when I focus on just one task at a time. I also realize that when I am trying to do something while someone else is talking to me, I can't truly listen to them and miss out on what they were trying to tell me. Despite this, I do find that I am able to combine things like washing the dishes with listening to a podcast or cleaning, end quote. This is further supported by experts in real life situations, much like using your phone while driving and how much of an ability that has on your uh, ability to react to traffic. Um, also, people believe that there is in fact a difference between uh, the capabilities male and female sexes have to multitask, yet a study from ABC News disproves this theory, branding it no more than a myth. There are, in fact, two key factors that go into making someone a better multitasker. The first of which is in regards to the different types of processes your brain undergoes. Combining an auditive process, like singing, with a motoric process, like riding a bike, is a simple task for most of us. Yet this changes when you try to combine two auditive tasks, like singing with watching the news. The second factor that goes into being a multitasker is in regards to how much experience you have in that task as over time these become automatic and require little to no afterthought, making it a lot easier to combine them with other tasks. In the same way that a professional chef can cook multiple dishes, whereas a beginner struggles with just the elements of that one dish. Now, personally, I found multitasking to work both ways. I found it to be beneficial at times, yet not in the way you would expect. For me, combining two or three simple tasks at the same time is easy, Yet, when I try to combine one or two more strenuous tasks at the same time, it's a whole different story because some of these tasks require specific flows or thought paths that take a lot of time to regain, slowing you down dramatically. The next time you find yourself facing a heavy workload and don't have much time, you should consider how much you actually have to do before resorting to multitasking, as more often than not, you are in fact just better off resorting to doing one thing at a time than combining them, but in the end, Everyone has to find what works best for them and find little solutions like isolating tasks or removing distractions. Thank you.